Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I am going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. I'm a professional trader. I'm not going to shill you any affiliate link sponsors, altcoins or anything like that, right? We are here to learn how to trade Bitcoin and make money at the end of the day here. So if you're, if you're liking that, stick around. Let's get this going. We're going to be going through the short term for Bitcoin, the mid term for Bitcoin, and the long term for Bitcoin as well. And we'll also be doing some Ethereum stuff as well. I haven't got that up on my chart right now. So let's just get this up real quick. Uh, there we go. Yep, yeah, cool. So we're going to be doing some Ethereum stuff as well on the side with that. Just to kind of uh, see where we are and see where we can go as well with that. Right. But it's mainly Bitcoin here. Let's do this. And uh, yeah, let's get rid of that as well. Those of you that, um, that were on the webinar, right, that were on the webinar this week, uh, this trade here was a good one, right? This didn't hit the stop loss. It hit the take profit. That's what you're after here. That's what you want at the end of the day. But Without further ado, guys, what has happened here with Bitcoin coming through? Well, uh, we talked about coming up. If we maintained above this this volume weighted ATR band, it's going to be a good thing, right? Uh, but if we did lose it and we did scatter around, I did say it's going to be quite a choppy zone here, right? Because we are in this blue box zone. Whenever we're in this blue box zone, it is kind of a, a choppy area and it's an area that we don't really want to touch because it is full of traps, right? We know this. We talk about this a lot. I don't want to be too repetitive here, but this is what we say, right? We don't want to get in that long until we get above it, until it's confirmed, until we have a pretty uh, a decent trend to take some pretty, well, how do I put this? Pretty girthy trades coming through here. Look at this thing. Beautiful, right? Uh, beautiful here as well. So that's kind of what we're looking for here for our next trade, but we'll get to that later on. In terms of what's happened, we're just chilling in the blue zone, all right? We're just chilling in the blue zone. We're waiting to see if this will reject or this will go up. I do think we are quite likely to go up, to be honest, guys, but uh, that does bring me to predictions, right? So, in terms of right now, we are just kind of teetering on this this weird, uh, I don't want to call it a diamond pattern, right? But if we do break up, um, potential here to do to come up and, and basically test a trend line here. We are drawing trend lines coming through. Uh, we can draw something like this quite easily, right? Uh, let me just get this looking pretty solid, looking pretty sweaty, right? There we go, beautiful sweaty, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not good, okay? This is, uh, a, this is a broadening wedge here. I don't really trade broadening wedges because uh, in Bitcoin land, in trading in general, uh, what you're looking for here is compression right you're looking to to coil up and then when it coils up uh, and when we do coil up like this this is traders getting more and more frustrated right uh, they're going to be rushing into positions making bad calls right uh, lots of traps coming through and then when we get to that pinnacle point that's when you break out right you let the spring loose uh, and that's going to be a lot better of a trade to come through right so when we're looking at a broadening wedge here a broadening wedge. It's, it's like the opposite, right? It's it's just more trappy, more unpredictable, uh, and people aren't as confused. It's just not, it's not, for me, it's not great to trade this kind of thing, right? So, uh, yeah, sitting on the sidelines here isn't a bad thing, but if we are looking at predictions here, I will say if we lose this 55 at 46, here, let me just change this music. It is absolutely just, just rap in my ear. Not, not a fan right now, right? We're trying to talk we're talking about it's not it's not good <laughs> right but what i will say is yes if we get below this 55 here at 46.5 around that kind of area obviously this will go up over the day right so if we can get below that um over today then i do think it will be probably a retest and come back down or it will be uh, similar to what we had the other day here with a trap like so right uh so yeah a little bit iffy again it's okay to be patient here we've had some some good trades recently right you guys know that we took a nice uh nine percent trade here right we we got out around this area based on the fact we're in the blue box zone you know that right so that's all cool that's all good here and uh, now what we're waiting for here is to basically get above this volume weighted atr band if we can get above there that's going to be 48.5, that kind of area. Uh, I would like to overshoot it a tiny bit here and come back up uh, and then retest it and then just bang it from there. But my only issue with that 
is there isn't really a measure move to support it right now on the short term anyway right so uh, maybe can maybe we can see something on the the mid term or the long term that can better uh, better explain what's going on here maybe we do have a channel here and if we do have a channel here on the mid term as we'll get to in a minute then we might have a measure move up to there anyway which would be quite good right uh, but yeah what we're looking for here if we do want to go to well if, if it is going to the downside and obviously we don't short in a bull market doesn't make sense to do so you're more likely to get wrecked it's just common sense right if the trend is up why are you going to be looking for shorts it doesn't make sense right <laughs> so uh yeah we're looking for longs uh, and if we do come down here we're looking for a, a lower place to put in a long right we're not looking for a short at all right but uh, me personally i am in cash right now uh, and i am just waiting to, to get over this right i do have a small huddle stack and if we are to zoom this out a little bit maybe we can uh, we can draw something like this right uh, where we do have convolutional points here correlative price action that can be uh, can be looked at potentially uh, as something that we can get measure moves from right so if we can get this down here in a parallel motion do we have anything that correlates uh yes we do uh, very nicely actually right what can we see here let me just get rid of this because this isn't needed anymore there we go right oh that's not what we were <laughs> that's not it excuse me mate there we go beautiful stuff so yeah what can we see here this is a very very nice convolutional correlative analytically great channel here right bringing out the big words coming through <laughs> but yeah what we can see here yes a convolutional point there seeing this as a, a, a resistance right and then we break through we find our top resistance there as well we come down we find our bottom resistance and now we come up and then we've tested this zone here we did talk about this a little bit yesterday but it's not quite what we wanted and we'll get to the midterm here uh, this is kind of what we wanted but it was a little bit more a uh, little less correlative here on the upside but again this was more of a um, an idea rather than just trading it right uh, and it, it does look a little bit more ascendy as a triangle and we'll get to that in a bit but this right now is going to be the star of the show right now okay so what can we see what can we do elon musk is coming for you and your doge coins what can we say here if we do break over as we just said right if we break over the volume weighted atr band and we start an uptrend now we have a measure move right and this is why it's okay to change your plan a little bit adjust for what's going on and get ready for the girthy gains here if it does come through because we could be talking about a ridiculous $53,000 Bitcoin coming through. That's right there, the big girth. That's what we're after here. It will also line up pretty nicely as breaking out of this zone. So a golden trade here, a golden trade is to be had that we can potentially get up into this zone here, right? Uh, and this is not a small trade, right? This is not a happy meal trade coming through. This is a big beefy chicken McNugget trade all over you on a Freaky Friday. Speaking of Friday though as well, guys, as well we know this right we don't like to take trades on the weekend because it can be trappy right so if you are taking this be very very cautious this isn't financial advice you're liable for your own trades i don't even know if that protects me legally but i'm gonna say it it probably does right <laughs> but anyway um yeah this is kind of what i'm looking at if i was trading the weekend i'd be looking for some health right so to come down and then to test this and then bounce up and then once we break whatever trend line forms here that's when i'm going to be looking to get in a long uh if I was trading this, if I was trading this on the weekend, right, I'm probably, I probably will leave this today, but uh, maybe I'll take some scalps over the weekend as well. Again, everything's looking pretty good. My altcoins are just skyrocketing. We are chilling. We've made some decent trades. We've made some scalps. Uh, it's okay not to be greedy here and just wait for Monday as well, right? So that's kind of what we're looking at there for a potential move towards the upside. If we break down, this is going to be the, uh, this is, this is the, the negative side, right? And uh, some of you in the comments do, do come to me and say like, how dare you say we're going down? Bitcoin never goes down. And that is true. If you haven't heard, Bitcoin does just go up now. It is, it's almost a fact at this point. It just goes up. <laughs> so what I will say with this is, yes, if we go down, we have to be prepared for it. As the distinction, right? The distinction between a good trader and a bad trader is being prepared for every scenario. And that way, if we go sideways, we're prepared. We know what to do, right? If we go up, we know what to do. And if we go down, we know what to do as well, right? Uh, and that is really how you can get there. And that is really what you need to be thinking about when you are eyeing up these trades, right? So uh, if we are zooming on this again, and we are looking for this measure move, if we break down below, essentially below this trend line, right? Uh, 44, I would say. 44 is gonna be there. Um, then yes, there is potential to come down. But as I said, shorting is dumb. Don't do it. <laughs> it's just dumb, right? Because we do have this, 
we have this uh, 200 EMA coming through that's pretty strong. Okay, this is something that does hold us up when we are in a sustained bullish uptrend. And surprise, surprise, guys, we have been going a little bit parabolic recently. So that is something that I would expect to hold uh, if we do touch it, right? So we could be looking at potential if we do come down here. And this, this is a big if because it does look pretty good right now. Okay, if we did come down here, 43.1 would be an area if I was short to take profit. But again, never short this. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Not worth it here. Just play the measure moves up because you will make a lot more money uh, generally. Okay, not financial advice. Well, I don't know <laughs> right? But if we lose that, if we lose that at 42, uh, that kind of area, uh, yeah, th these two are pretty much similar, right? One's an EMA, one's an SMA, right? EMA is going to be more reactive. So if we go up, it's going to react towards the upside quicker, which is mean, which is why it's above the SMA, right? simple moving average, exponential moving average. This behaves more exponentially, okay? Uh, and this is the volume weighted ATR band on the hourly, on the downside. And um, we can see here that we don't really touch this. And when we do touch this, we've had some pretty Boofy rejections here towards the upside and just banging it really okay uh, typically with this thing when we do test it we do trap and we get massive massive uh, pumps from it in this run anyway that we've found okay if we are in more of a downtrend it'll be kind of the opposite way where we we stay below it we uh, sustain a trend kind of thing like that right uh, so yes that's pretty much the hourly a little bit of a ramble on there on the hourly but uh, 10 minutes in, I do really want to make sure you guys know what's going on here, right? Uh, we can also see potential for a wedge forming here, but uh, it's a little bit iffy right now. And if we did come down, we do have areas to watch anyway, right? Again, happy for this to come down over the weekend. Uh, have a bit of a consolidation. Get all those dirty leverage junkies happy, right? And then absolutely obliterate them on Monday, right? <laughs> and that's, that's essentially how it goes. And Guys, I'm not here to kind of make fun of the, the dumb traders. That's not why I do this. I actually do this because uh, there's a lot of misinformation on YouTube, okay? Uh, and what I do this for is to kind of, uh, if, if you do kind of, um, yeah, if, if you have lost money and stuff, then uh, essentially the reason why I do this and the reason why I started the channel is because with YouTube, there's just, people drawing shapes and then saying yeah that's a bullish shape everyone long and that's just the worst way you can do it okay uh, what you need to be doing with uh with these shapes and stuff like this is saying hey right uh if we break out above and then we retest and then we make a higher high on a lower time frame that's okay to be getting in a long right that's going to be more sustainable as a long you're going to have better results there but if you just see a bullish pattern and then long it you're going to lose a lot of the time right because they don't actually uh, in bitcoin anyway i've found back testing all of these patterns over years and years of data that it's, it's a lot more 50 50 than you think okay it's a lot more 50 50 so uh, don't listen to that uh, it is it is a uh, it is like a I think to trap you into getting in positions and getting in traps and getting stopped out, right? So uh, when we're inside a pattern, it's okay to chill. It is, okay? Um, you don't have to play from one side to the other of the pattern. Um, but when we do break out, that's when you can get in and really just take advantage of momentum. Because at the end of the day, it's all about momentum. It's all about momentum, right? Everything in trading is about that, right? So if we're looking at patterns here, if we're looking at patterns, and if we do get over this trend line here on a four hour, we could be looking at something pretty beefy, okay? A little bit of beef, a little bit of chicken here coming through. <laughs> and we can see a 51K measure move, big bop over there, right? So we'll see if that does play out. A little bit different to what we had earlier with our channel, our Coco channel. But I, I will say, I will say um, we can still make that a channel, okay? We can still reject from that. Uh, it can still be a parallel here. So it is okay to watch this over the weekend because it is trappy. We've said it's going to be trappy here. I said yesterday, literally, like, it's going to be chop here. Like, this is going to be chop. It's a lot likely to be chop. And even if we do come up over this, uh, it, it is quite likely that we trap there as well with it being a weekend, with it being the top of our bigger measure move here on, uh, on the higher time frames uh, that we did have up to like 50, uh, 49 to 50K, right? So 49 to 52K, I think was the maximum. Uh, so we said, yeah, taking advantage of this trade is okay, but be careful because it's quite likely that we trap and have a massive pullback after we hit that maximum 52K zone, right? Uh, I'm not saying just short 52K, right? <laughs> but uh, I am saying, be careful around this zone for sure. Okay, for sure, foul shout here. Uh, what I will say as well, yes, uh, the measure move for this, and this is actually more of a bearish pattern typically, but as we said, right, it's, it's a lot more 50-50 than people think. Uh, but the measure move for this would be up to 51.6, as we just said. And if we are drawing trap zones on this, if you don't know what trap zones are, what you do, you, you, check, you check out the wicks here, right? The wicks here are pretty cool, not the website wicks. 
the wicks here, right? If we can see this, uh, we can basically try and make a trap zone from that with the wicks here. If we get over these wicks, it's a lot more likely that we continue up. And that's just basic stuff here. This is, if you were on a smaller time frame, this would just be a higher high, right? Um, so this is essentially why we draw this, and this is what's what's essentially happening here uh, with these bad boys. Uh, it looks more parallel like this, so maybe I'll leave it like that for now, but uh, it's... it's, it's uh, yeah, mm, nah, nah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it, <laughs> we'll leave it here, we'll stick to a typical TA here and, and remove the parallels, but parallels do work a lot in Bitcoin generally, okay, if you are enjoying this content, guys, if you are feeling like you're learning, if you feel like this is a breath of fresh air, where you actually are learning something from a YouTuber, then I'm doing a webinar on Wednesday, feel free to attend that, that is cool, you're welcome to do that, that's fine, right, um, and it's completely free to sign up, completely free to attend, and you're gonna be learning a strategy that I taught um, people this Wednesday as well, right? And that's what that 1% was uh, at the start of this video, if you did clock onto that, if you are a little bit more intuitive uh, out there, right? Uh, what I will say, that's pretty much the, the midterm here uh, for the measure towards the upside, and just kind of clarifying this towards the downside here, uh, and I will get the WAD machine up so we can see where the moving averages are as well, but, um, yeah, 42k around this zone is also an area which wouldn't surprise me to come down and visit, all right? And if we do come down there, you can bet I'm going to be looking for a long down there, okay? You can bet, but I think it is quite unlikely the fact um, that we have just been banging it recently, okay? And we do have a lot of bullish news. We have a lot of, uh, I don't know if you followed that tweet on my Telegram yesterday, but um, there's some very, very bullish technicals coming through. It's a little bit more complex that I, that I could really explain on this channel because it would just get a bit boring but uh yes a little bit the same things are happening before we had the tesla pump uh but nothing's happened yet right so maybe there's a company out there that's about to announce that they're about to they, they've bought some bitcoin or whatever right and that's obviously going to cause this move quite likely to happen um but again that's hypothetical don't just trade off of news okay uh, that's not how we do it here we trade off of ta technical analysis here uh, which does make sense and it does correlate with the news naturally right so that's that's what i would say there moving it up oh no let's let's uh, bring up the wad machine here just to quickly see what's good yeah we're above all major moving averages uh we haven't tested the price action channel in a little while but we are above the volume weighted atr band on the four hour as well right so testing this bad boy at 43k wouldn't surprise me but uh, if we can maintain this trend if we can keep it parabolic if we can keep it going here then uh yes a potential to bang it up to the low 50s and then i would expect a, a pullback from that zone personally anyway right um, but happy to le leave a little bit in and let this ride uh, if it does continue up and we do get some bullish news coming through, right? So what I will say here, moving this to the 12 hour, what can we see? We can see that this is the trade we're kind of looking for, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, in terms of trades that's happened now, I'm actually going to drag this out so it's more visible. Uh, we can see that the trades we've made in the past few weeks here since the start of the year have been phenomenal here phenomenal this is incredible stuff we've seen coming through uh, and it's just free money at the end of the day it's literally free money uh, and uh, just playing this round of blue box all the way up here uh, getting the confirmations on the lower time frames getting in getting out uh, taking profit each one of these lines on the way up it's just nice okay it's just it's just too easy uh, in a sense at the moment right and what i will say here with this 12 hour this does close in 20 minutes so you're probably gonna uh have, have finished the video or you're probably way into the future by the time this closes right but um this is not a good candle this is actually what we call a darth mall and uh this this is often spells for reversals back down so maybe we will test the 45 but don't just put all of your weight on on candle patterns they're not that good here to put weight on you can see here we had a similar thing here we didn't come down <laughs> so uh yes uh it, it just means that there's a lot of resistance here right if we can continue up here if we can bang it here uh, then what we're looking for on the lower time frames if we do bring this down to a one hour uh, before really tallying this up here again right same scenario here where we say hey we get over this volume weighted atr band fantastic we get over this blue box zone fantastic right this is the golden barrier here right if we get over it get a little long in big bap all the way up uh, take profit take profit i'm going to be taking a lot of profit here as we said because these are the areas where we want to close the trade right um and then maybe I'll leave like 10, 20% of the, the trade in to see how far that gets up and then just close it on, the, on a lower time frame saying, hey, yeah, looks looks a bit more bearish now. But 
and just ciphering the money out of the markets, getting it done here. No sponsors, no affiliate links. We just get it done here, right? That's that's the plan. If you are liking that, you do want to spread that to more people, spread that value. That's one free and two works, right? Uh, then feel free to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you're doing here. Also, it is uh, Coin Saturday here tomorrow. Okay, is it is it Friday? It is Friday today, right? <laughs> it's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Just double checking there. Um, so yeah. Saturday tomorrow, we do altcoins at the end of the videos on Saturday. So if you do have a request for me here for tomorrow uh, of an altcoin that you want analyzed, I'll be picking like four or five here, uh, and then we'll get it done. We'll get through it, uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll be letting you guys know what I think is going to happen with all the altcoins there uh, on that day, right? Uh, as well as that, yeah, the summary here on the long term here. I'm just going to change this song again. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Just the problem with NCS music, right? It's it's a hit and miss a lot of the time. A lot of the music on there is pretty good, though. Um, but what I will say here for the long term is, yes, we're still above all major moving averages. Yes, we're still above this volume-weighted ATR band, which is super important for the trend, right? If we're above this bad boy, and we're not we haven't lost it, right? We didn't lose it uh, since before 10K, well, the 20... What was it? 12.5, 12, uh, right? 12.5 is where we first claimed it, and then we maintained above it all the way up here. Uh, even when we had a, a small rejection at uh, 20k, we only really trapped below it, and then we banged it, right? Uh, and then we've come down lower than this, which is pretty standard here, right? Nice little trap consolidation, dirty action here. This is why I said this is not a good area to trade, uh, because it's sideways. We'd have lost this. Uh, it, it's just bad, right? But now... But now, in conclusion here, we can see that, yes, we've reclaimed it. Uh, we are above all major moving averages. It looks like we want to take another leg up to these mid-50s, low-50s. Uh, so, yeah, there's potential for that to happen. Uh, and then maybe some more consolidation in this next zone, okay? Uh, but we could also go massively parabolic from here. And this is why it's important to just play it level by level here. Uh, there's enough percentage gains to be made where you can miss out these, these blue box zones and, and really just wait for confirmations. We're talking about potential BAP. 23% there, big old girthy gains here, and then 14% there, big girth coming through, and then we've got another 8% there as well, right, and this is all based on Fibonacci and linear regressional growth curves, which you don't need to know, okay, you just need to know that it works, right, at the end of the day, uh, and those of you on the program will eventually know what this all is, right, and I do explain this every now and again on videos, but again, we're pretty late into this one, so I think I might leave it here for today, but these are the next big trades that we could be looking at here. Uh, and obviously it's not from one end to the other. It's, it's more like we, t we shave off like 20% because we take profit all the way up. And that way we secure our profit uh, in, a, in a nice way, okay? So we're looking at still some very nice trades over the next kind of, I want to say six months or so. Uh, maybe even quicker than that. Maybe in like three or four months here, right? Um, but yeah, if we do get higher than that, we're going to have to adjust our strategy a little bit. Uh, and we're going to have to essentially figure out how to how to navigate this next FOMO zone here. We're talking uh, 180K, we're talking 200K, 300K, right? This is going to be massively oversold areas. But I will say, I mean, we've got to play it by ear. We've got to get it done. Uh, and we've got to adjust to this market as it progresses up here, right? They are just printing dollars all the time. So <laughs> what can you do here? What can you do? But just adjust to it and make money, right? That's what we're here to do here at the end of the day. So yeah, what I will say, if we do lose this volume weighted ATR band again, pretty bad for Bitcoin. That's at 40k right now, and I would expect to probably come down to 30k from that point. Just massive crash if that happens, I would say. Uh, and then we are looking at our bull market barrier here in conclusion, right, as our absolute bottom here coming in around 25k. So we'll see if that is is like visited. But at the moment, as I say, guys, looking fantastic, looking great. Okay, so. Moving on here, Ethereum, this is going to be the last one here for the day, and then I'll let you guys get on with whatever you're doing here today on, on a Freaky Friday. If you're getting beers in, fantastic here, fantastic. And I do want to say big up, thank you to these guys, the Girthy supporters, that have been supporting the channel. You guys are insane. Again, I don't really do, like, I make money trading, right? This is not a lot of money to me, but this is the equivalent of you buying, like, a coffee for me, right? Or buying me a beer, or buying me a pizza, which I did get last night. I ordered a pizza last night, seafood, it was fantastic, right? We had some tuna, we had some anchovies, we had everything in there. Uh, it was fantastic, right? So big up, thank you for that, guys. You guys paid for that, right? <laughs> so big up to you guys, thank you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you're having a good time on Friday, great, right? We shouldn't be sober in this lockdown for sure, right? <laughs> right, so what I will say here, on the hourly, um, for Ethereum, we could open up a channel like this, but it's not great. 
It's not good at all, actually. Let's just leave that back there. And uh, this isn't even, this is what I'm saying, right? Very trappy here with Ethereum recently. Uh, it is being dragged around by Bitcoin for sure, okay? But it has hit all of our targets, right? I would say this is a measure move complete, right? From our wedge, uh, sorry, from our channel that we drew in like, literally months ago not months but weeks ago right weeks ago we were like down here we're saying hey if we come up here we can make a channel that's great uh and then if we break over that channel we've got girthy measure moves coming through and that's what happened that's all good here uh, and now we're expecting potentially some uh some sideways but if we do break up here there is also a little triangle here we can we can look at right but i do want to bring this to the 12 hour because this is where the patterns actually make a bit more sense here as you can see yes but uh the more you look at it, the more wedgy it gets, right? It's getting a bit more wedgy, a little bit floppy, a little bit flaccid here in its old age, old Ethereum. <laughs> so what I, what I will say here is, yeah, I mean, the measure move towards the downside from this is pretty self-explanatory. We're looking at something like this. And again, that's probably already played out here. What, what can we say? Yes, yeah, that's played out. So that's done. Uh, the fact that we've recovered here makes it a little bit it looks a little bit like a trap here but we will open this candle over it if we do stay here we need a pump in the next 15 17 minutes here for this to really conclude and continue towards the upside and then again we have this measure move uh, of this of this wedge coming up as well bringing us up to about 1900 i would say right around that area we also had this channel but again it's not fantastic because so we're going to get rid of that right now uh, it's not what we wanted at the end of the day uh, again we're, we're doing it hypothetically right it's not like i'm making calls and saying this is gonna happen guys i'm not i'm not gonna kirby this out okay i'm not saying we are going this direction i'm saying if it goes this direction we are ready for it and we know what to do, right? And we know the targets that we can hit. And that's the point of trading. It's not about just making a call and getting it uh, right, okay? It's, it's about reacting rather than predicting, okay? So there you go. That's the video. So I will say as well, um, as I already did the thank you, but yeah. If you have learned from this, if you do have, if you have found this valuable, okay? If you do want to spread that value to more people, um, give it a like. Leave a little comment on any old coins you want tomorrow. And webinar on Wednesday. Just sign up on my website. It's right there on your screen right now. You can see that link. Bitcoinbeats.net. That's where you need to go to essentially learn the strategy. The strategy that will change it. It will change your foundational knowledge about trading and make you a better trader or introduce you to trading in the right way. Okay. Uh, so that's there for you if you want it completely free. I'll be doing that on Wednesday. And that's it, guys. Big up. Thank you to all of you. And peace out from all the Bitcoin beats over here. Goodbye.